Hey guys, Derek here. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome for the first time if you are new. We are back with a trailer reaction today, and that is for the official trailer for season three of Bridgerton. <laughs> Big fan of Bridgerton on the channel. If you've been around a minute, you know how I feel about this show. I think it's so much fun. I think it just unlocks a different part of my soul um, that just allows me to get a little loosey-goosey with things and just have some fun uh, watching a period piece uh, romance show that isn't like super historically accurate if we're being real, but it's fine. I have a great time. For those of you who are unaware, I have watched both season one and two of Bridgerton on the channel already. Big fan of season two especially. Um, and then I also watched the Queen Charlotte like prequel, uh, I guess you could call it, about her and the king. I thought that was actually better. <laughs> <laughs> than, than both season one and scene, season two of Bridgerton. Like it was just better written and like the romance seemed more believable and it was just all around more interesting. <laughs> um, especially, I think it turned out to be more interesting than what I think season three will be of this because season three is focusing on Colin and Penelope. And I can't say that I'm like terribly stoked. <laughs> <laughs> like entry level I don't really care about Colin in the slightest <laughs> like if he wasn't in the show I probably wouldn't even notice and then Penelope I was Penelope's like number one fan <laughs> through like the first two and a half seasons but then the way she did my girl at Louise at the end of last season ooh, child like I ain't playing around with Penelope no more. <laughs> I'm not a fan. I am upsetty spaghetti with good old Penelope. Um, so she's gonna have to do a lot of groundwork to gain my favor back. Um, you know, I was heartbroken. Heartbroken. I was heartbroken. I was heartbroken and absolutely betrayed by the way she treated her friend last season. Just like it felt so selfish and just like. It was, it was sucky. I just didn't like it. <laughs> and so, um, she's definitely gonna have to, to put some work in season three for me to, one, like her again, and then two, give two rats buttholes about her relationship to Colin. Like, get out of here. <laughs> but we're gonna jump into the trailer. Before we do that, if you end up enjoying this reaction, please leave a like on the video, it means a lot to me. If you're new here, hit subscribe, ring the bell so you're notified when I upload, especially if you wanna see me react to season three of Bridgerton, cause I plan on doing so. And then if you were interested in seeing full uncuts for anything I watch on the channel, including season three of Bridgerton, consider checking out my Patreon or joining YouTube memberships. That would mean the world. Uh, you just sync up your own copy of the show and you can watch along with me. Some of the older, um, See, I think season one, I don't think season one full length is available anymore because I used to put them on Vimeo. Now I put them on YouTube. Um, I think season two is available for full length. So if you want to go check that out, definitely do that. I know Queen Charlotte and season three 100% will be available for full length. So if you're interested in that, check it out in the description. Would mean the world. But uh, yeah, other than that, I think we're going to jump right into this. So here we go. All right, season three. Dearest gentle reader, we have been apart for far Penelo. too long. Penelope's old. Did you know that her actress is At like last, almost 40? London's fashionable set has made its return. And it seems that our Kate bond Sharma bond and Anthony. is moving with the changing tide. Hey, Eloise, so don't hang out with her. Who is this author? I cannot live at home any longer. I must take a husband. Oh. Does my lady oh, have okay, a suitor? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I'm surprised. Is She's that? going after Colin. Colin. Brother. Under what Brother. Colin's son did you apparently get so sturdy? <laughs> Been working out. Oh, it is good to see you. Is it? Something wrong? Seems as though every Bridgerton was born to attract notice. For some of us, notice is very slight. Hey, it's the Bridgertons are awesome, so... Are we not friends? Nah, brother. She Friends. loves you. <laughs> you like clueless you imbecile. First. How delightful to see you all. The splendid weather we are having. I would not be angry if I'm to be a super not good at this, thing. is she? You are Penelope Featherington. Do not forget that. 
Hello. She's not seeking a husband in you, I hope. No, I'm only helping her find one. Since when are you worried about Penelope? So, last season, enemies to lovers. This season, friendship to lovers. What this author knows to be true is that diamonds are not the only gems that sparkle. Emeralds! Oh, am I right? Penelope says, what's up? Debling. He is eager to take a wife this season. You look especially beautiful tonight, Miss Featherington. You have done right. very well, Penelope. What more could you want? Mother, do you believe the best foundation for love is friendship? It, it is, is indeed. rare, but you must follow your heart. Even a wallflower can bloom. What is oh the my god. Force She's a late bloomer. It's okay. Along our paths. Love. Penelope. Is it our minds or our hearts? Bridgerton. Part 1, May 16th. That's coming up quick, brother. Sisters. <laughs> Dempsters. <laughs> All of the abusters. None of the abusters. <laughs> okay, the highlight of that trailer was the brief one second shot of Kate and Anthony Sharp. <laughs> Uh, just Kate and Anthony. Uh, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna say he adopted her last name, so it's Kate and Anthony Sharma, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, she can technically be a Bridgerton, I guess, but I like her last name better than his, just because I'm used to seeing her in Sex Education and just immediately going Kate Sharma. <laughs> like, if <laughs> that's one thing uh, you'll notice if you watch my reactions to Sex Education, um, you'll notice I've never once called that character by her actual name in the show. She's just exclusively Kate Sharma. So the little one second shot of them like kissing and, and flirting and stuff, best part of the whole trailer. <laughs> just stoked out of my mind to see them again. Um, but uh, onto, onto the, the topic of the, the actual trailer. Obviously going to be about freaking Penelope and Colin going from friendship to lovers. It's, it, they're gonna have to do a lot. <laughs> I'll be honest, they're gonna have to do so much to make me invested in this relationship because one, don't care about Colin. I, I said this at the beginning, Colin might be my least like the character of the show that I'm least interested in. Even even the other kids in the family, like they seem way cooler than Colin. <laughs> I wanna see Benedict get in a relationship. That'd be bitching. <laughs> He's cool. Um, I don't care about Colin. Colin just kinda sucks in general. Um, and he hasn't, honestly, he hasn't treated Penelope very kindly in the two seasons leading up to this. Like he's kind of straight up almost told her to her face that she's like an afterthought to him. So for, I, like, I don't know if it'll be believable watching them fall in love. Not because she's not gorgeous. She's beautiful, obviously. But like, just, it'll be an abrupt turn in his behavior from what we've seen so far. But you know, maybe he'll get jealous. Maybe the jealousy will be like the driving factor, right? He said he's gonna help her try and find a husband. And maybe in that process, he will um, start to fall for her. I, that's okay. I think that's, that's gonna be the sequence of events, I'm calling it. He starts to help her on this journey. And he's like low key falling for her a little bit, right? The whole time he's like, you know, oh, Penelope's kind of cute. Like, I might actually kind of like her. And then right as he is about to actually, like, be like, oh, frick, I think I'm in love with her. Then Mr. Beardy McBeardface strolls in and is like, I'm here. <laughs> and then Colin gets jealous. And the remaining, like, three episodes of the season is kind of like a, like a, a, a battle. A battle for Penelope's soul <laughs> between Beardy McBeardface and and newly beefed up Colin, and then in the end, she will choose Colin. Maybe along the way, she will become friends with Eloise again. She's gonna have to apologize, like, a ton. She screwed her over, arguably, at the end of last season. I mean, it's, it's a little complicated, because, like, 
the queen thought that uh, Eloise was Lady Whistledown, but like I feel like there was a way to like make the queen know that it wasn't. <laughs> but instead, Penelope's like solution is basically to call Eloise like a slut and a and a traitor <laughs> to the whole nation and and think that that was like chill. <laughs> like no. You did my girl Eloise dirty and I'm not a fan right now, Penelope. Like you need <laughs> you're going to have to do some work <laughs> to get back in my good graces. I don't think she understands that yet. Um because my personal opinion the opinion of a 29 year old straight white male is the most important opinion <laughs> for this period piece romance show <laughs> like clearly have they not been thinking of the men <laughs> uh i'm just kidding obviously i know there's some people that are gonna watch that watch me say that and be like really <laughs> ew i just got the ick like of course you did but no i am i'm <laughs> as much as i joke as much as i joke i do enjoy the show i think it's fun um and it has done very well on the channel if i'm being honest uh bridgerton has kind of popped off every season and i'm pretty not upset about that <laughs> like obviously if the show didn't do well i would watch it in my own free time but it does well on on the channel, so you guys get to see me uh, cover my eyes during sex scenes. It's great. <laughs> it's a it's a fun time. But I don't know what else to say. I'm kind of just like rambling now. Okay, but um, Eloise, Eloise, don't hang out with that one girl. <laughs> she sucks. I mean, if she's the only person willing to be your friend, I get it a little bit. But she sucks. So like, maybe like just be friends with your sisters or something. <laughs> I don't know. Are your are your sisters chill? Are they chill like that? Will they make TikToks with you? <laughs> that's 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 the only part of the episode that gave me a little pause. Is I was like, oh, Eloise, don't hang out with her. <laughs> like she sucks. Even even Penelope was like, Ugh. <laughs> like just just cruel cruel disgust in her face. Like come on now. <laughs> but no, I don't know what else to say. I'm looking forward to it coming out next month so you know lock in get ready it's game time boys like it's game time boys and girls and thems and none of thems and all of thems we're in it to win it <laughs> no i'm at this point i'm just saying things and i don't even know what i'm talking about anymore so i'm gonna conclude the video here if you enjoyed my reaction, please leave a like on the video. It means a lot to me in my cold heart of hearts. And it helps my videos do well, which is also a plus. <laughs> um, if you are new here or you are returning from a long absence, uh, consider hitting subscribe and watching some other things. You know, diversify your portfolio, friend. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Watch Shogun. If you guys aren't watching, oh, brother, if you guys aren't watching Shogun, like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I'm honest. I'm, I'm standing on business right now. If you are a fan of period piece romance, like Bridgerton, you need to check out Shogun, because they get freaky. No, they don't get freaky, but there are some very romantic moments in Shogun. It's very nice, and I like it quite a bit. It's just so freaking good. Watch Shogun. And then watch X-Men 97, because that is also awesome. <laughs> Just, you know, watch some superhero things. You'll have a great time, I promise. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, subscribe. <laughs> and then, uh, again, if you want to see the full, uncut version of all my reactions to the show, consider popping over to my Patreon or joining YouTube memberships. Uh, again, some of the older full links not available anymore because I switched from Vimeo uh, to YouTube for my uploads on full length stuff because it's free on YouTube and it costs um, at least 70 bucks a year on Vimeo, which sucked. So I switched and so some of those old videos are just straight up not available anymore. And that's a bummer. But it is the truth, and I feel like I should warn you ahead of time about that. So, you know, subscribe at your own risk. <laughs> but also do do subscribe 
to my Patreon because I like money. Money is pretty rad. Uh, big fan of that in particular. It helps me pay bills, and I need a new car soon. So, like, if you guys would, like, be homies, like, be chill like that, <laughs> and just sauce me $10 a month, I wouldn't hate that. And we'd honestly kind of be best friends. Like, I would, I would let you hang out with me over Skype. <laughs> Not in real life. Yet. But maybe... If you're chill, if you're, if you're cool like that, if you're like built different and just like one of the illest people alive and you want to sauce me 20 bucks a month, we might hang out. <laughs> Who knows? You're practically family at that tier. So consider it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, ta-ta for now. See you in May for season three of Bridgerton.